Now, yeah, folks, like I was telling you before, they were showing the graphs upside down, and basically this is upside down too because more than likely the lowest reading is going to be in the morning. Okay, or if the actual factual that they did at 133 point, i.e., in many states, what it'll show, or many areas in the country, it'll show will be exactly what you're seeing up here, zero beta, and that's this is your radiation, this is your counts per minute. Okay, that beta growth ends up being counts per minute. That's what that is, and the volume is gone. There is no volume anymore. I'll go slowly back along the slider here and they don't have any they used to have to give the reading because we have to clear the box out the box has to be totally clean to be able to give a radiation reading okay and that's what a lot of these cities are end up showing here is, is this so I'll go back and we'll pick another town I was trying to just go in the middle of the United States uh, we'll go to and I, there is no apologies this is America and this is our radnet system and it's not showing there's, and if there's not showing anything on zero on the deal on the chart then there's no reason to be going and looking at uh, because even though Springfield here, Missouri, is at least showing that, I go down here to get the beta gross and get a line graph. And I'm re being repetitive here, but I mean, see, they don't show nothing. And now it's showing a straight line, green, trying to make you fake out, make you feel that it's good or something. And the green is beta gross measurement. And what's sad about that is the actual factual that the idea that this is crazy here, but if you come down here, this would be counts per minute. And what's scary about that then, they're only showing you half of what it's actually reading when the box has been dirty and they try to clean it out and they are cleaning it out, but the environment is background dirty also. So radiation is high because it's at almost probably 300 by the graph line here, okay? Because it's just showing a straight line. And since they're trying to show us something, a fact, and I know that before they were cutting these things down by half on their readings, but no matter what, 133 is dangerous, even 126. And this is not healthy here because you're getting that all the time and you normally were supposed to have not even this. The rates around the country before the Fuka fudge up we're down around maybe 32 to be a high reading, 32 to 50 being a high reading. Now everything is 63 and everything like that. And I almost challenge you to go to a site, the Radnet, and there is the address, okay? And what I did, I'm trying to find my deal because on black they were showing in honestly, what they are actually doing is getting real readings. There's there's not false readings that they're getting. I'm an electrician and these excuses. Basically, I like the way that they're talking and communicating. You have to read through the smoke and the actual truth is the false readings is what the truth readings are, okay? There aren't false readings on these damn things. Good example, we've got Lincoln, Nebraska here and then later in the day, they're showing the high counts. So if you back up the video and you look at what I was telling you the truth, that they're probably flipping the chart on the dates and time, because this is basically military time of what time the reading was taken, and then they cleaned it up. Or even if the air got cleaner, big deal. But you can see how high it was. This is deadly, deadly, over time, deadly. This is bad for your health, okay? So... This is the reading from, and maybe we'll get lucky that their graph is up because the actual factual that they're actually showing the readings looks like correct to the time, but it also they're, they're looking like they're showing the manipulation. Now I'll get our line graph here. If it comes up, we'll see what we see, but I'm going to go back and show you that the factual, I just pop that down until it re it'll load. And no matter what, and we can go through time because it's going to go through different dates. I didn't even do that. So as we go through here, you can see that they even get as high as 278. Okay. And yes, that could be a test. Okay. When they were supposed to test, it'll come out as a high reading. Okay. But as, if you, as you see, they test every hour okay but 256 
and they're only supposed to do that test once a week. So if you see, and then we got 278, then you got 233 and 256. So the actual factual is that you can see they're manipulating from low, and actually this is high, okay? This is what used to be high readings would be like a 58, like or a 51 like that, or a 45, okay? Those used to be high rates, okay? Those used to be high. Now high is 256, 233, 278, 184, 131, which is deadly over time. It's not healthy for you, okay? And as you can see, as we go through here, it's not going to change on any of them. When they took the, when they changed the whole block on the software to get rid of the volume to be able to tell you, okay, how much air are they taking in the box? Because they clean the box out every day, every hour to do a test. So this is a very honest one here. They're showing you these crazy ass, and it's not malfunctions. It's 184. Now they'll use this for video for an excuse to take this one off, but more than likely they're reading correctly. Okay, when it rains, Fuka Fudge Up gives us radiation. Okay, Michigan videos that oh, you go back in my deal showing a Geiger counter and from Michigan, and it's just the radiation's high, and nothing can be said about it. Uh, politically correct with your name or your face because actual factual they will ruin your life because it's just uh, it doesn't take too much to to realize what's you know out there I mean who wants to take a chance messing with big anything because and then we get a query here and we get a graph line of this to 300 again same thing that we were ended up seeing that from uh, so they don't want you to see the graph. Normally the graph would be, the CPM would be over here. This would be over here and they've changed this around so you don't see it. And then you just get a single green line and normally you'd have a graph line going up and down and up and down and up and down. The scary thing is there, there's a 300 spike because that's what this reading was. If you'd flip this around the way it's supposed to be, because this is supposed to be over here normally and this down here. So if you flip it around, they're showing us that it's over 300. And that actually, with the us knowing that the graphs were correct before, when they took the volume off, we could start reading that correctly. And now they're showing just straight out how much it is. And when it's getting to 280-something they're showing and stuff, that's not a false reading. Basically, these 200 readings, 239 and 280, they're not uh, one-week tests and stuff like that. They're basically, it's close to 300 sometimes. And probably when it reads 300, then the sites blank the graph out on their site. we got 290, 254. That's deadly CPM over time. People are going to die of cancer. Someone who's gotten radiation treatment lately is going to die faster because the idea that they don't need to be going and getting bar bar bombarded with radiation and become a magnet for what's already in the air. You're getting free radiation treatments right now. If you do have cancer, you might get cured by natural high radiation in your area. Now, certain areas should be, but what's scary is Springfield should be out of the jet stream where it shouldn't have gotten that much. And I showed you the readings there. So let's see, let's go ahead and go to, let's go ahead and go to Florida and see if, they, if we get anything down there. And I got supervisor and control watching me where I'm going. I made favorites of, uh, so if Black Cats, if you guys could, or anybody that's been on the Black Cat system, if you can send me the false readings, because those are actual real readings, uh, do not believe the falsifications that you're getting. It's a bunch of BS. So actual factual, uh, give me some links to those, because I clicked to it before, and then I saved the links, created a shortcut and everything like that, and I went back to look at it in my... Supervisor control is right into my uh, favorites and everything like that. There's not much I can do about it. They can anybody can backdoor a computer and supervisor control somebody's computer and really stop something if they want to. Okay, so
And here's an actual factual reason why you shouldn't even be flying if you're prenatal. And like I tell you on the ground, 130 is not good for anybody that's pregnant, thinking about getting pregnant or having a child. Young child under the age of three years old needs to stay away from flying in 130 counts per minute area. And then you need to work way around and figure out these mic receivers. And is the government really telling us the truth on these readings of late? Because these are the dosage rates that's been getting read off people. They're coming off flights, uh, 35,000 feet, and it, t it looks like it's telling the truth because the higher they get, the higher radiation they get. The more rain you've gotten, the more radiation level on the ground you're probably going to be reading because the actual factual the rain brings it down to the ground. Okay, so uh, na nanograys and what's the N, and then Sievers is the S and mic receivers and then you have to figure out the hour dosage that's been going on uh, and then this is the times and the readings that they've been getting off of them so anything up high is getting a high reading so radiation's out there it's invisible and it's a killer and I'm going to show you here that the solar wind is picked up and this is what I was seeing last night. Pretty much the same thing right about now. It's kicking up and getting close to 600. We're getting in the high 500s. Okay, this is the average over the last 15 minutes. I'll that up for you a little bit more. I'll go up to that. And I think I can scroll to it. So... This is the average over the last 15 minutes. Dynamic pressure is up, spiking. So we're going to see a little bit more action from space and the wind on the ground because this is from outer space. And this is your solar wind. And basically the reason a lot of players and you're having a long time to download, upload. And basically I might not get this uploaded till Saturday and this Friday right now. It's the 21st. So uh, I did an upload on the last video and it took forever. So radiation is bad. This isn't radiation, but this is a space your speed of solar wind out there, solar weather, that's space weather, folks, okay? Your dynamic pressure out there is spiking up over, I think it was up over one, wasn't it? We're getting up to one and uh, getting pretty close to 600 here. And then wind like that in, in space, it's a vacuum, it can go hella fast. Being out.